Are you folks here for the fireworks? This is going to be exciting. You have pretty good seats, but I'm going to have prime VIP seat. Get your popcorn, glow sticks. Worm. Do you like my accent? As far as weight, 
Seriously, here, have a bite. You have plenty of catching up to do in that department. And as long as you're here, I might as well put you to work. Uh, sure, sorry. It's okay, at some point everyone tries to hide from something, just so you all stay in it. I see my life, flashing before my eyes. <coughs> What's his story? Well, sit back and relax. Apparently we're going to see his life flash before our eyes, too.
Florida Packers for Jonah. Are you Jonah? Nope, I'm Nick. Can I speak with Jonah, please? Hello. Hello, are you Jonah? Nope, I'm Kevin. We're Jonah's brothers. I don't get it. Anyway, I have an important package I need to personally deliver to Jonah. 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 Can I help you? Package from above, please sign here. From above? So you and Jonah both got direct orders from God? I walked away from him. Ran, actually, as fast as I could. <coughs> you can't 
run from God, and it certainly doesn't mean you stop talking or calling me to walk with him. I don't get it. Calling me? Let's watch some more Jonas light flashing before his eyes, and maybe you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay.
He used another hand on board. I just need to get as far away as I can. No, right now. Let's just say running from higher power. A man with something to hide. My kind of mate. I can use the help. This car mine is completely worthless. You take them all for a walk down the plane. Let me show you around.
Jonah's going to be so surprised that we're coming along to help him. He'll be surprised, all right. Whoa, we just made first class ticket to Nineveh. Uh, this is the ship to... Uh, Nineveh. Welcome aboard. Sure, let me take your bags. Hi, I'm Kevin. This is my brother, Nick. We're Jonah's brothers. Hi, my name is Bob. That's Bob, Hank, and Steve. <laughs> Arr! Arr! Very nice to meet you. Love the pirate thing we've got going on here. Will we be dining with the captain this evening? Uh, sure. Arr! <laughs> Could you direct us to the ship chapel? We're going to leave a lot of praying. Chapel? What on earth are you talking about? No chapel, that's okay. Where do you hold your prayer groups, Bible studies? Bible studies? We don't even need that till the old God. Yeah, we got the God of the sea, the God of the sky, the God of the sun, the God of the bank, and the God of the point. Ar, ar, ar. <laughs> well, what do those gods say about forgiveness? Forgiveness? Pirates don't get forgiveness. Well, I forgive you. For what? For stealing our luggage. Deck assignments are complete. Didn't take me nearly as long today because all of a sudden the crew seems to be helping out, Captain. Relax, Jonah. Call me Maggie. Why don't you take a much needed break? Take some quiet time for Bible study and prayer. What? What happened to the Captain I met earlier? And what's that about Bible study? It's amazing. The Bible's a wonderful book about the one and only true God. I know what the Bible is, and I know who God is, but where did you hear about him? Promenade Deck. Promenade Deck? On a pirate ship? Yes, these two fine young God-fearing men had a marvelous idea to have prayer groups there, which eventually turned into Sunday school classes followed by potluck dinners. <laughs> two God-fearing men? Yes, in cruise wear. It's amazing what they're teaching my crew. Two young men in cruise wear. Excuse me, Captain. It's just Maggie, sweetheart. <laughs> what in the world are you two doing here? Juno, wonder where you've been. This is Bart and Hank, Bob and Steve. This is our brother Juno. We're teaching them about God. It's truly amazing how the whole atmosphere of the ship has changed.
all pirates gather round. It is time to serve justice for all. Justice? Pirate justice. It's the weekly walking of the plank. <laughs> R R. R. Great idea. 
I don't need any more direction. I'm not going to Nineveh. I'm going to Tarshish. And right now, I'm going to my living room. Leave me alone.
God is punishing me for trying to run away. Throw me overboard and the storm will stop. Absolutely not. Boys, grab the oars. We'll try to row back to land. Aye, aye, Captain. Please, listen to me. You have to throw me overboard or we, or we will all die in the storm. I guess the only way. Lord, we don't know why this man is running from you. Please forgive us for taking this man's life.
number of cardinals, what can make three slums of cardinals in haste in the valley of the whale?
This time doesn't look so bad. That will be $3. That's funny. Did you really expect us to pay for this? Now that's funny. What's so funny about me expecting you to pay for something that you bought? Because we ain't got no money. And we don't pay for nothing. Well, apparently you dropped out of grammar school also. Today, that's going to change. Pay up now. You want us to go get Lizzie? Go right ahead and get her. I'm not scared of that dirty, rotten, poor excuse for a girl. What's going on here? This old hot dog lady's demanding that we pay her. And she calls you dirty and rotten. Oh, thank you, Mars. That's quite a compliment coming from you. But you know that me and my girls are here for anything. We take what we want and do what we want. And there ain't nobody to stop us. What bothered me most about all of this is I thought I heard you that you, I, ho I thought I heard you that you said that you weren't scared of me. I'm so sorry, Lizzie. Please forgive me. Have a hot dog in the house. Same goes for your three little fiends, I mean, friends. I can't. 
roots because they're so terrified.
shouting about? In 40 days, this town will be nuked, snuffed out, wiped out, vaporized, washed. I told you he was walking with the Thoris. I had a dream about this destruction. Well, your dream is about to come true in 40 days. Noodlefied, wasted, defaced, crushed. Enough already! Are you from another town that plans to invade us? I was sent from the one and only true God Almighty. He has seen how evil this town is and has had enough of it. I am here to inform you, Your Majesty, that in 40 days, you and your town will be raised, slain, trashed. Get him out of here. Glad the girls come on. We didn't feel like destruction. Not at all. It felt warm and loving.
They stopped doing what was evil, so God took pity on them. You didn't, Jonah. They listened to you. You saved them. What? So you're blaming me for the show being canceled? Not blaming. Congratulating. No, no, no. This is not how it's supposed to end. I told them that their city would be destroyed, and they along with it. That's what all these people are here for. I knew this was going to happen. God is so kind and gracious and full of love. I knew he would forgive them. He is the God of second chances. Oh!